Friends, I want to welcome you into our sanctuary here at St. Columbanus. My name is Father Matt O'Donnell, and I'm blessed to serve as the pastor of our parish community. You know, as a parish over these last weeks, we've been focused together on what it means for us to be a people, a community, a parish of radical hospitality. I mean, what we've really been reflecting on over these weeks is how, how this is our sacred responsibility, part of our mission of living as baptized believers. We've been reflecting together through the sermon series that we had and, and through the videos that Dr. Mark Nemo and Jennifer Reed continue to share. We've been reflecting on how God is calling us today to create cultures of encounter, to be a people of accompaniment, to be the ones who always bear witness to the power of God's amazing love. And so we think about how we're called to do that as a parish. You know, this morning as I'm recording this video, it's Wednesday, it's, it's the day of our food pantry. And I shared with the staff earlier this week that, that during the time of the pandemic, from March until September, so far we have given out over 500,000 pounds of food to the people in our community, to the people here in Chicago. We've passed out over 12,000 masks through the food pantry to our neighbors here in Park Manor. We've made a commitment as a parish to make sure that we continue to serve and meet the needs of the people that God has entrusted to our care. I mean, I think that's a great testament to who we are as a parish and what radical hospitality looks like when it's lived out authentically. The food pantry is just one way that we as a parish at St. Columbanus are continuing to make sure that people are invited to come to know this love of God, this, this amazing power of the Holy Spirit at work, this person of Jesus who's promising to be with us, to walk with us, to journey with us through this life of faith. I, I think one of the things that I continue to hear from people especially as we find ourselves in so many moments of uncertainty. The question, this desire, is to really find God in the midst of everything that we have going on. To really find God in the midst of the uncertainty, in the midst of the fears, in the midst of the questions, in the midst of the anxieties and the worries and the troubles and the trials and the tribulations, to really, to really look for God in all of that. Maybe a different way to say that is, that is that there are people like us who are looking for a spiritual breakthrough in this moment. You know, as I thought about radical hospitality, and I thought about us as individuals and us as a parish, as fellow pilgrims on this journey, as fellow disciples with one another, we recognize that God is the one who's constantly calling us to something more and to something greater. But sometimes life makes it difficult to see. That's why I was thinking about the prophet Isaiah. And in chapter 58, especially in verses 6 through 12, the prophet Isaiah is speaking about the, the importance of fasting. I think fasting is one of those biblical principles that, that reminds us that breakthrough is possible, spiritual breakthrough is possible in our lives. It's in fasting, it's in our time of prayer that we're able to encounter this living God who is present among us. This God who desires to be abundant in the ways that God blesses us. Isaiah is reminding the community and reminds us today how important it is for us to find time to fast and to find time to pray and to recognize the ways that God is already abundantly blessing in our lives. If you start in verse 9, it says that if you remove the yoke from among you, the accusing finger and malicious speech, if you lavish your food on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness and your gloom shall become like the midday. Then the Lord will guide you always and satisfy your thirst in parched places, will give strength to your bones, and you shall be like a watered garden, like a flowing spring whose waters never fail. 
Friends, I, I think this image that we receive from the prophet Isaiah is beautiful and it's powerful. It's an image that, that, that speaks about who God is and what it is that God wants to do in your life this very day. See, if you're looking for a spiritual breakthrough, if you're looking for a new encounter with our living God, if you're looking for God to do something new in your life, then you got to make the space. You got to find the time. You have to take on this principle of, of fasting, this, this value of prayer, this time that allows you to, to separate yourself from all of the distractions in your life so that God can lavish blessings upon you. This word lavish, as a verb, it means, it, it means to be generous, to pour out something on someone else. Friends, I, I think that's maybe a question for us to reflect on today. What's the blessing that you can lavish today? See, I, I think that's an important place of reflection as we think about living radical hospitality, as we think about what this life of discipleship is meant to be about, all of us, every single one of us, has gifts and talents and blessings that we have the power to lavish on the people that God places around us. But sometimes we need to be willing to, to, to make that space so that God can remind us of the amazing things that God's already doing for you and for me. I mean, I think if, if every day we started our prayer with that, just, just being open to, to what it is that God wants to bless us with on this particular day, imagine, imagine the blessing that you and I would be in one another's life. The prophet Isaiah is saying that that, that you should take what you have and to share it with those around you. That when you do that, when you allow the abundance within you to be shared with the people that are around you, you'll be able to have a spiritual breakthrough. You, you'll be able to, to live in such a way that you'll see how God is, is lavishing blessings upon you this very day. And friends, I really believe that's important for us right now in our spiritual journey, right now in the midst of a pandemic, right now in the midst of so much that is so uncertain, right now in, the, in this time when there's so much hate and division in our country, in our city, in our families, in our individual lives within ourselves, to be reminded that the God we come before today, the God that you and I are called to worship is the God of lavish blessings. So friends, today, what is the blessing that you can lavish on someone else? God bless you.